sports in America, baseball, hockey, football, and basketball. But now we need to start thinking about a fifth major sport, soccer. In the United States, we call it soccer, but in any other country in the world, they call it football. No, that is not the football that we Americans know and love and that turn on our TVs the other night to watch Clemson play Alabama in the national title game. It's not that football. It's soccer here in America. So today, in my presentation, I'm going to show you three major points. The 1994 World Cup, Major League Soccer, and Youth Soccer in America. So how exactly is soccer becoming the fifth major sport in America? Simple. It all started in 1994 when the Super Bowl of Soccer came to America, the World Cup. For those of you that don't know what the World Cup is, it's the biggest tournament in the world. It's compared to the Olympics, but it's just soccer, not swimming, and all that other good stuff that we like to watch during the Olympics. The tournament broke records. According to Wikipedia, each game averaged around 69,000 people per game. To put that in comparison, of the 497 urban cities that we have in America, the total number of people, 69,000, is more than 102 of those cities, which is absolutely insane. The tournament overall had a total attendance of 3.6 million people, but that's not it. Two years later, in 1996, Major League Soccer was formed in America. We now call it, we call it MLS. That's the soccer version of Major League Baseball, National Hockey League, National Football League, and the National Basketball Association. In 1996, when it started, it's a lot different than it is now. It first started off with 10 teams compared to the 20 that we have now. But that's not it. According to MajorLeagueSoccer.com, by the year 2020, the MLS will have expanded to 28 teams, which is an increase of 18 teams from the start of the lifespan in 1996. But that's not it. The attendance is a very big thing in, in the MLS. According to SoccerStadiumDigest.com, for the year 2016, the total, the average attendance per soccer game for the 20 teams in the MLS was around 22,000 players, 22,000 spectators with the highest being the Seattle Saunders with 47,000 people per game and the lowest being FC Dallas with around 14,000. Overall, for the 2016 season, the total attendance was 7.4 million spectators for the overall year. But as we move on in the presentation, the professional side is not the only leading factor in the growth of soccer in the United States. It also is the youth. I myself have been playing soccer since I was four years old. In the 13 years I've been playing soccer, I have seen the game grow around me. According to US so USYouthSoccer.com, from 1990 to 2014, the total number of US youth soccer players has grown by 1.5 million players since 1990, which is absolutely incredible. Most of that is part of the Division I college. If you look at it, if you talk to any other, if you talk to any college scout for colleges, they will say that they recruit mainly from youth soccer clubs in America. So with that being the case, a lot of kids will usually play youth soccer at a young age until they are ready to go to college. Video. I wasn't born in America. And arriving here wasn't easy for me. They didn't even say my name right. I thought I'd never fit in. But over time, I gained the respect. And that respect turned into admiration. Admiration means a love. And the world better be ready. Because I'm an American now. My name is Soccer. <laughs> As you can tell in that video, yes, soccer was not born in America, but over the years that has became popular. In today's presentation, I told you about the 1994 World Cup, where each game averaged around 69,000 people per game and had an overall attendance of 3.6 million. Then I talked about the MLS and how it started off with 10 teams in 1996 when it started in America. And it is 
planning to have 28 teams by the year 2020 for the 2020 season. Then I talked about youth soccer and my experience and how I've seen the game grow. From 1990 to 2014, the game has grown by 1.5 million youth players since then. So I hope that when you guys, so whether you like it or not, soccer is growing in America. So don't be surprised if one day you turn on your TV and you turn the ESPN and soccer is being played instead of that basketball, football, hockey, or baseball game that you were expecting to be on. Thank you.